Hey guys, this is Mike with JMD Yu-Gi-Oh! back with another character deck profile. This go around, we're actually going to look at the main protagonist of the GX era, uh, Jaden Yuki. Fan favorite with his awesome elemental hero monsters as well as his really cool wing Kribo and wing Kribo support as well as the evil heroes. It's just a lot of fun. Uh, this deck is going to be mainly about the OG elemental heroes. Uh, that entire strategy. We actually have a couple of different Jaden Yuki decks. We have a Neo Spatian related one as well as an Evil Hero, just because there's so many um, archetypes and strategies that he covers throughout the show. So let's go and get started on this one. And uh, we're going to go and start off with the main monsters. We have two Elemental Hero Avion, we have two Persinatrix as well as two Sparkman, and of course, two Clayman. So these eight right here are gonna make up the majority, I would say, of the fusions in the deck. And we'll get to the extra deck here toward the end of the video, and you can see there's quite a bit of them in there, um, but these are definitely the main pieces of them. Now, some of the other important pieces of the deck, we have two Elemental Hero Bubble Man, a Elemental Hero Wild Heart, just one of them, and as well as a Prisma. Originally, we were going to add in a second copy of Wild Heart, um, possibly even a second copy of Blade Edge and Necroche, which we'll see here shortly. But with that Prisma, honestly, it helps facilitate a lot of those fusions. And again, the main strategy of this deck is to get those fusions out. So um, it really helps just having that Prisma rather than that Wild Heart, and uh, it works perfect for the deck. And like I mentioned, we have Necro Shade as well as Blade Edge. Um, sometimes I would say we have Necro Shade in the graveyard and we're able to use the effect of being able to tribute summon a monster without actually having to tribute anything, specifically Blade Edge. Um, occasionally it works, but for the most part, it, it's, it's hit or miss. But either way, you know, the one off chance that you get this card out for free, it's, it's awesome. And then we have two final monsters. Um, one is elemental hero related and the other one is more or less just a little bit of a uh, staple of Jaden Yuki's persona. And of course that's Wing Karibo. And then the elemental hero related one is Rottweiler. It helps you facilitate by once it, once it gets sent to the graveyard by battle, you can add either a, um, or both, a elemental hero monster and a polymerization from the graveyard to your hand. So again, a nice facilitating card there to help facilitate future polymerization uh, fusions. <clears throat> now let's go ahead and get into the spells and traps here. We'll go ahead and start off with some of the staples of a lot of our character decks. Our casual character decks always run one of the great Pot of Greed. And then we have a Graceful Charity as well, just to help facilitate the drawing in this deck. Um, some of our decks only have one draw spell. But this deck needs a little bit more help just because it's reliant on those specific pieces of the fusion summons, um, as well as, of course, a monster reborn. Now, of course, we get into the core of the strategy of the deck. We have two polymerizations and a fusion sage to be able to search out that polymerization a little bit more easily. A miracle fusion, being able to fusion summon from the banish or from the graveyard and then banishing. And that comes in handy, especially because there's a lot of uh, fusions in this deck that actually use, um, you know, Clayman and Bubble Man multiple times. And so being able to reuse those same materials are super helpful. And of course, we have Defusion, that comes in handy as well as Fusion Recovery. Again, another piece just like Rottweiler to facilitate additional polymerization fusion summons in the future. Of course, two staples of his Elemental Hero strategy, we have Skyscraper and as well as Skyscraper 2. Skyscraper really comes in handy, especially considering a lot, if not all the monsters, except for Necro Shade and Blade Edge, are all really low attack monsters. Um, we're looking at probably 1,000, 16, 12, even 800 for Clayman. Again, not big attack monsters, so that Skyscraper really comes in handy. Um, as far as that Skyscraper 2, that's probably my favorite card in the deck as far as spells. Uh, this card really helps slow down the game, being able to just pop a Elemental Hero out there 
to quote unquote chump block and just to stall and be able to resummon it the next turn over and over and over again is super helpful. And then some other E Hero related cards. Of course, we have Heated Heart, Emergency Call, Righteous Justice, as well as O Oversoul. All four are super helpful being able to pump. Search out a specific piece of the fusion you're trying to do. Pop some spells and traps, as well as special summoning one from the graveyard. Again, it's all about popping those pop fusion is out. Now, the last three spells are, um, again, to facilitate the strategy. We have Warrior Returning Alive. Helps get a lot of those monsters from the graveyard back into your hand. We also have a Dark Factory in Mass Production. Uh, super helpful and useful considering about, I think, eight. Yes, eight of the, I think, 18 or so monsters we have in this deck are all normal. So that is super good. And then, of course, we have Battle of Fusion, another favorite card of mine. This card's honestly just really, really good. Being able to, and I'll go ahead and just read it for you guys if you're not familiar with it. When an attack is declared involving a fusion monster you control and an opponent's monster, that monster you control gains attack equal to the attack of the opponent's monster until the end of the damage step. And again, it's a quick play spell. So this, this one will just win games sometimes, and this one will surely help you get over any sort of big monster that your opponent may have. Of course, a few more traps here. We have Hero Counterattack. Really, really good card. Uh, being able to just kill a monster. And the the kicker is that you do need to have an almost a hero monster in your hand and basically guarantee that's going to be the one that you reveal for this effect, which you can almost certainly do anyway. You can honestly just set all your spells and traps and have it be the only card, and it's basically a guaranteed effect. We have Hero Barrier, basically a negate attack, and a Hero Ring as well. Another great card, Mirror Gate. Draining Shield, essentially like Mirror Gate, but more or less for the gaining life aspect of it, as well as Hero Signal. And again, as you can see, a lot of the strategy is just to get those monsters out and keep them coming and coming and coming and facilitate those fusions. Now, on to the fusions. We're going to start low with some low star fusions. We have Mariner, Necroid Shaman, as well as Mudball Man. Mudball Man's one that you can pretty much get out every game if you wanted to, or at least once every match, once or twice every match, because um, the fact that you have two Bubble Mans and two Clay Mans, um, that card is a good way to slow down your opponent and uh, really just slow down the game and allow yourself to build up to even bigger and better fusions. We also have Rampart Blaster. Thunder Giant, another really important piece of the deck, being able to destroy monsters your opponent controls, as well as Steam Healer. We'll get into the bigger ones now. We have Tempest, Dark Bright, Wild Wingman. We also have Wild Edge, another great one. Plasma Vice, one of my favorites, the favorite art out of all the fusions, in my opinion. And, of course, the classic Flame Wingman. Now, we do have the next step up from Flame Wingman. We have the Shining Flare Wingman. And then to top it all off, we also have Elemental Hero Electrum. This one's really awesome to get out and fun and satisfying. And it can honestly end the game sometimes. And, again, these are just for fun, uh, fun duels between friends. And uh, they can get extremely competitive these character decks and cards like this may not be good in the meta but it's cool to knock this out and really just beat down your opponent with it but uh, that really wraps up the character deck profile for jade and yuki feel free to drop a comment like subscribe let us know who you want to see next and thanks for watching peace out